Hi there. Welcome to another VR video. Today I'm actually going to play through Oculus Dream Deck and this time you'll be able to see it. I've had some technical glitches the past couple of days. I apologize for those. But right now on my HTC Vive, using my Vive controller, I'm going to walk through the 10 Oculus Dream Deck experiences. Several of these are available in the Best Buy demo, so if you have the opportunity to go to live.oculus.com and schedule a demo. There are 48 Best Buy locations currently doing demos. You'll get this little forest demo. You'll get a demo where you're on the ledge of a skyscraper. You'll get this little alien over here. You'll get a city scape right there and you'll get the T-Rex. So those five are available in that particular demo sequence as well as a few minutes of a really cool game by Crytek called The Climb. Uh, but I couldn't get enough of Dream Deck, so I decided to install the Revive Injector on the HTC Vive and Oculus Home on my computer, and now I can actually play this free experience on my Vive, simulating the Oculus Remote with one Vive controller. So I'm just going to go ahead and play all, and we'll get through all ten of the Dream Deck experiences. And that's the extent of the use of the controller. So I'm just going to stick that in my pocket for right now. Now, the one thing about the Vive is you do have the chaperone in place. So if I move forward, it's not so much in place. I can walk around, as you can see right there, kind of as I get closer to the edge of my place, it will show up. I hope this dinosaur is not hungry. I don't think it is. I'm going to back away slowly and we'll fade out. Now this one's really good. Um, again, this is one of the ones that was at Best Buy. You've got a fish over there. A nice, I think it's a porpoise over there. If I look up, there's a bird and another bird flying. And then, of course, a deer, a rabbit, and a fox. And a nice warm fire. And some leaves floating down. This is a beautiful experience. And this one's one of my favorites. They're on the ledge of a skyscraper. You can look down. Looks like my play space actually is mirrored to it. And then back there, kind of an Easter egg of Palmer Lucky. The old Oculus logo up on the skyscraper in front of me. It's a very cool scene. And of course, if I had a bigger play space, all of these I'd be able to walk around a bit more. Um, this is actually my least favorite, well, no, second least favorite. It's masks in a mirror. If I turn around, I can see a tea set. I cannot drink any tea or sit in a chair. Oh, look, it changed again. I can look down into the fireplace and there's no fire burning. But I can't see my hands. There's no reflection. Scary. Hello, Mr. Alien Guy. I'm going to go around you. Let's see what happens when I walk this way. And this is my least favorite. An ant. I don't know if this is supposed to be portrayed as a microscope. It, it just frightens me. Some nobules here that I can't reach out and grab, of course. But this guy frightens me. I don't know why, just the thought of uh, angry giant ant scares me. 
This is one of my favorites. I just wish I could pick up and grab and drag the lines like you can in Final Approach. Which will be on the Oculus Touch, I'm sure, someday. You can actually get down into the sea and look at the paper craft. I love this UFO that's going to rescue this person out of the building. You can actually move around quite a bit in the scene. The trains, another little Oculus logo on the building there. And a happy sun. And this is my favorite of these demos. I'm going to stand in the middle and watch this one unfold. I know I can't, you can't hear it on the stream, and there's no way even with massive room scale I could pick up that rubber ducky even if I could. Looking at this music, does it actually resemble the music that's playing? If anyone knows that, let me know. I'm curious. Laser shots from the wands. It's really awesome. I guess he doesn't need that little ducky anymore now, does he? This is the one everyone loves. It's the Hammond Museum. I feel like I'm kind of in a cage, so I'm going to step forward a bit. Don't eat me, friendly dino. Oh. That dinosaur has some bad breath. I am not tasty. In no way, shape, or form am I tasty. That's right, carry on about you. Rex lives at the Hammond Museum. And so that is Oculus Dream Deck um, as the credits roll here. This room, there's not really much to it. It's just a menu area. Uh, kind of some circular architecture, similar in a lot of ways to the giant Oculus logo in front of me. Um, but there's not really a lot of atmosphere to this menu room. It's just a menu room, just a simple credits room. The rest of the experiences, those 10 things that I just went through are amazing. Um, whether I like giant ants or not, uh, all 10 of those experiences are really fun. And it's really cool that Oculus made these, shared them for free on Oculus Home for all Oculus Rift owners. And now you can also experience them on the HTC Vive um, using the Revive Injector. And I'll put all the details of the Revive Injector and how you can get to that. Um, and also how you can go and download Oculus Home uh, in the comments for this particular video. So I hope you enjoyed Oculus Dream Deck. And I'll be back with more videos very, very soon, possibly within the next couple of hours, because I have a ton of new content that I'd like to share, and I'm going to get to it as quickly as possible. So again, thank you very much for watching. We're going to let the rest of these credits roll, and I'm 
I guess all of those experiences are by Unreal Engine. I didn't realize that. That's cool. Uh, I'm actually going to be working on an Unreal Engine game based on a tutorial series. It's not an original property, but I am going to use some models from some familiar properties, and I'm going to try to stream some of that in the near future. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. That'll probably be on a separate playlist. But that was Oculus Dream Deck.